Today I'm going to show you step by step why you need a solid state drive for your laptop. Let's get started. Today we're going to use this Western Digital Blue solid state drive. It's very fast and reliable, and I highly recommend it. I will also be using one of these external hard drive enclosures to transfer data. This one by Sabrent was only $9, and it's great because it includes this Acronis cloning software. Using a device like this lets us copy all the data from an old hard drive to a new one. And I'll show you step by step how to set it up. Inside we'll find some instructions that we won't read, a USB 3.0 cable, and the hard drive enclosure. An external drive like this is only needed if you have an existing hard drive in your computer and want to copy it to another one. The way it works is you slide the cover off, and inside you'll find a SATA 3 port connection. This external drive mimics a SATA 3 port inside of a computer and converts it to a USB 3 port. The USB 3 port will allow us to plug it into the laptop and copy all the information from the old hard drive to the new solid state drive. There are many reasons why you'd want to update your old hard drive to a solid state drive. One, a solid state drive is much more durable in that there is no moving parts. Old hard drives have magnetic disks inside that spin and can be damaged if bumped. Number two, because there are no moving parts in a solid state drive, they can be quieter and can help improve the battery life of your computer. And a third reason to upgrade is that solid state drives can transfer data much more quickly than a traditional hard drive. Upgrading to a solid state drive or SSD is the first thing you should do to make your computer go faster. All right, enough rambling. Now that we have the external drive set up, let's plug it in and turn on the computer. Once your computer is up, go to this PC here you can see that I have two hard drives already installed. The hard drive with the blue Windows icon is where my computer boots from and has all my programs installed. This one is already a solid state drive, so I'm not going to replace it, but I'm going to replace the one on the right labeled storage as it's an older hard disk drive. This setup of having your operating system on a small solid state drive and having a large hard disk drive for storage is very common. If you don't know what type of hard drive you have, you can hover your mouse over it, right click, and go to Properties. Then scroll up to the Hardware tab. Then you'll be able to see the make and model of the hard drive. Copy that down and go to a search engine and you can see what type of drive it is. For example, my storage drive is made by Toshiba. It's one terabyte of storage and the speed of 5400 RPMs or 5400 revolutions per minute. Now that we know it's a slow hard drive, we can copy the information from it and replace it. To do that, go back to this PC and you'll notice that the solid state drive that we plugged in is not showing up. We first need to format it. To do that, go to the start menu and type in partition. You may be asked to initialize the disk. If so, select GPT or GUI partition table and hit OK. Once that's done, you'll see the new hard drive with a black bar across the top and it will say unallocated. To fix that, right click and hit new simple volume, select next, then check that the numbers are the same and hit next. On this screen, you can change what the drive letter is. It doesn't matter what you choose, so just hit next. Here, you can give the hard drive a new name. Because we're gonna copy the old hard drive, it's just gonna erase what we put, but I'm gonna call it SSD for now. Then hit next, then click finish. The computer will then format the hard drive, and when that's done, go back to my PC, and the new solid state drive will be there. Now that it's ready, we can copy the information from the old hard drive to the new one. To copy all the information, we're going to use the Acronis cloning software that came with the external hard drive. To get my free copy, I go to sabrient.com slash Acronis and hit download. I download, save, and install it. Once installed and running, click on the Tools tab, and then click on Clone Disk. Select Automatic, and you'll be brought to this screen that has all three hard drives listed. Choose the source hard drive, or in other words, the one you want to copy. Hit Next. Then choose the target, so I'm going to choose the external drive connected by a USB. I then go to the summary screen, and it shows me a before and after of everything that's going to be copied. It looks good, so I hit proceed, and it copies everything. The time it takes depends on how much data is being transferred, but usually less than an hour. With that done, I can see that everything has been copied over. It looks good, so let's change them out. First thing to do is take out the SSD from the enclosure. I'm going to use this toolkit from Bonafide Hardware to open up the laptop. To open a laptop, most screws are located around the outside edge. 
This laptop also has screws in the middle and underneath the rubber stands. Using a flathead screwdriver, I take out the rubber stands and remove the screws. Using the non-marking spudger in the toolkit, I go around the outside edge and take off the back panel. The first thing I see is the hard drive we're going to replace found in the bottom left corner, followed by these three batteries. This is the fan and the heat sink chamber over the CPU. Check out my other video showing how to upgrade your RAM. This green layer is the motherboard. The two ribbon cables are the keyboard and the mouse trackpad. And to the right of that is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card with a white and black antennae. Now we're gonna take out this hard disk drive, but first we need to disconnect the battery. I slide off the metal plate cover, then disconnect it by lifting up on the corners. With that disconnected, I can now take out the hard drive. This rectangle in the bottom left corner is actually an M.2 hard drive with the operating system, but we're gonna take out this one. This silver material is heat sink tape and can be peeled off. Holding down the hard drive are these four screws around the outside. Carefully slide out the hard drive, and you can see that it has the same SATA 3 connection as our external drive. This metal bracket holds down the hard drive through these four screws around the outside. To slide it out, I also need to bend up these tabs located in the front. I take out the four screws around the outside edge and it slides right out. HDDs for laptops like this are actually very thin. The ones for desktops are about three times as thick. I'm gonna set it aside and we'll use it later. Next, I grab the SSD and do the opposite process to put it back in. With the new SSD now in place, I'm gonna connect the battery and put on the back panel. Before we boot up the computer, let's take the old hard disk drive and put it into the external enclosure. This external bay not only copies data, but you can use it as external storage. These Sabrient bays are well worth the $9 that it cost, so I definitely recommend picking one up. Let's boot up the computer and make sure everything's working. Now I will say if you change out the drive that holds your operating system, you may need to go into your BIOS and change the boot order. I'll have a link to another video on how to do that. I didn't need to do that here, so let's load up the computer. All right, I have my two hard drives and everything's working correctly. I did go through and start cleaning out some files that I didn't need and forgot to hit record, so there's that, but everything transferred correctly and my computer runs much more quickly and I don't have a weird clicking noise for my hard drive anymore. Now, last thing we need to do is format the old hard drive. So I plug it in and wait for it to load, then right click and scroll down to format and you'll be brought to this menu. I'm going to leave the settings at default and then hit start. You'll get a pop-up warning that you're gonna delete everything, but just hit okay. And now it's formatted as if it's a brand new hard drive. Then go to system tray, eject, and unplug the new hard drive. And that's it. That was a lot of information to take in, so you're awesome if you're still here. Now hopefully you can go out and help someone else with their computer. And we're done here. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.